everyone welcome to the video on installing and running webdriver io in five simple steps so before the installation let's do a couple of pre-checks number one we should have node.js and npm installed the way you can confirm open up your terminal or command prompt just start typing in node space dash v it's going to tell you that version of the node and similarly if you put the npm dash space and then dash v it's going to tell us the npm version and if you put the typescript which means a tsc and space dash v it's going to tell you that typescript version that you have in your machine and obviously if you type in code and then space dash v it's going to tell you the current code version which means the vs code that i have installed so these three things should have been installed and running in your machine if not it's going to be simple and easy again so the way you can download node and npm just start typing in download node and take the first link which is the download node.js from their official site and if you click on it depending on your OS you can install this it's going to be a pretty simple and straightforward installation similarly if you don't have the VS code installed you can just download it by typing download VS code and then take the first link and again just download the package that you want depending on your operating system and if you don't have the uh, TypeScript installed you can also just install it globally just by issuing npm install dash g typescript dash g means it's installing at a global scope so this will set up the pre-check now let's actually move on to the installation part so these are the five steps we're going to follow and then install and run our first web driver io okay first thing is uh, we will create a folder first that's our first step so preferably i would say go into your documents and create a workspace folder and under that you can create a folder here or whichever suits your uh, need you can create it accordingly so i'm going to create a folder saying that mkdir and then the folder name going to be wdio and then dash and then demo this is my project name so then you need to move into that particular directory so that you will create a folder under that folder so we, the way we can move in type in cd and wdio or you can press the tab key that will auto complete and then this is my demo so i have two different projects that's why this asking me to select which one it is so once you moved in i can just type in pwd it's going to tell me my current working directory so i'm in a my workspace and then this is my project name you see the first time is done so you can now see a folder called a web driver io demo in the particular directory obviously otherwise alternatively you can create it there in the folder as well so this will work for both windows as well as mac now we need to set up the npm project which means a node project the easiest way would be uh, if you provide npm and then in it it's going to initialize the node project which is our uh, at core wdio project and if you provide dash y it will just answer all of the default it will take all of the default answer and create a node otherwise you may just go with the npm in it as well so this will ask you to this will ask you a series of question you can answer and then move on so you can just clicking ok enter button now yeah, enter description i'll say just the wdio and then this is going to be my demo project so you can provide whatever that suits you entry point test command git repository keywords author everything you can provide so pretty much it's now done so this has created a skeleton of node project the way you can confirm just start typing in code and then space dash dash code space and then put a dot operator so i mean dot um, the one then you can open it it will going to just open the vs code so if you are not able to open it that means that vs code has not configured to run from a prompt line so the way you can fix it just click on view and command palette just start typing in shell and then you will see the first one shell command install code at the command path so this will set your path so that you will be able to open vs code from the command line so that's uh, completes our second step so we have now initialized a node project the way you can confirm just go in here you have you will see a package that they are created and you will have this basic key value pairs that's easy now third step is important that's where we will install the core wdio ecli so where we can go just start typing in npm i'm going to install this as my dev package i is an alias of install and then provide save and then dev i'm going to just install wdio and forward slash this is my cli so it's going to install the cli and depending on depending upon your internet speed and you know your project firewall and proxy it may take a while but generally won't be longer so if you just go in here the moment it installed you will see a couple of node modules getting installed into your project directory so you can be the way you can confirm so we have created a folder called wdio demo which is our workspace and main folder now if you can see here it's going to take a while 
So now we can see the node models created and we also have the package.json updated with one package which means if you look at line number 12 which talks about the WDIO CLI. So CLI version 7.13.1 which is my current version. Easy. So now this installs the core CLI package. So what is next? Then we need to just talk about that's the fourth one is the important thing where it will set up default configuration. So you can choose whichever framework you want. Basically, uh, WDIO supports uh, Maka, Jasmine, Cucumber. So obviously Cucumber, I feel it personally useful. So I'm going with the Cucumber one. So you can also choose different configuration. That's what we're going to see now by issuing a command npx WDIO config. So where you can go and come to the directory. Now we can say npx. WDIO and then going to provide a config. So what it means npx is an executor of any of the npm package It's going to invoke the WDIO core C executable and then providing the config as an argument So if you just enter it now, it's going to take you through a couple of questions So you can select the careful op I mean and select these the options carefully uh, Number one is where is your automation shoot back in London? I'm going to say local machine Instead of Mocha, I'm going to go with the Cucumber. The way you can select, press the down arrow and select whichever you need. So I'm pressing the down arrow and just press the enter key. Now it will ask you which compiler you want to use. I'm going to go with the TypeScript because the, the benefit of going with TypeScript is the auto completion, type checking and type declaration. I'm going with that and it's saying where is your feature file located. So obviously in real time project, you may want to create a custom folder, but I would for just for the demo, I'm just going with the default one. So I'm just going with the feature going with the same def step, de step definition as a default one. Again, WebDriver.io will auto generate some files. So I'm going with the default um, one as an option, yes. So this will generate some test for us. So, and then next is a page object. I'm going to go with yes again. And where is your object located? I'm going to go with the same folder name. Now this is where you can select the reporter. So spec is already selected as a default one. You can press the down arrow and keep coming down and press the allure. You can also select the allure and then press the space bar. Once you selected, you can now see spec and allure selected and now you can enter the, you can press the enter key. So this will select it. You can see now spec and allure is selected. And the last thing would be, we can select the different services. One of the best thing about WebDriver I use, it has having a lot of services. We just have to install it and start using it straight away. So Chrome driver is one of them. I'm going to go with this, just press the enter key. And what is the base URL? This is my local machine, so I'm going to go with the local option. And then this is going to install all of the core packages. As you can see, it's going to install the WebDriver, your Cucumber, Local Runner, Allure Reporter, and then the Cucumber Service, TS Node, and TypeScript. So it's going to take a while because it's installing these many packages. So once it is installed, we should be able to see them here under the dev dependency. And also that we will be creating a project skeleton, which is our uh, a base core project. Let's wait for that to complete. I think it's going to complete soon. Good. So it's completed now. So now let's have a look at the structure. So it has created additional folder call feature. That's where it is internally having those things. Page object, step definition. But in real time, you may create this under a test folder. That's where I think you will make use of this. You will differentiate from your development code versus a test code. In case if you wanted to merge the same code into a single uh, package. Particularly when you run it in a CACD pipeline. So now we have this created, but one important thing to note from the console would be that because we have chosen TypeScript as a compiler, so it's saying that to have TypeScript support, please add the following package to your types list. That's important, otherwise we'll not be able to run the test. So now if you look at uh, the config file, which is our core runner, one thing I, love, I, I like about uh, WebDriver is it is having a very powerful test runner. So pretty much you can configure it and then start using anything easily. So now you can see at line number one, so we see another cannot find namespace WebDriver IO because it did not find the TypeScript compiler option. So that's what we're going to fix now. So the way you can fix it, just by right click or you can create this icon here. Just right clicking here and then I'm going to create a folder called tsconfig. So this is the next thing tsconfig.json, this is going to be a JSON file. So once you create it, so I'm going to go with the default option. This is a compiler option, but in real time, you may have additional flags, but we're not going to cover it here. I'm just going to make sure that this demo test is running fine now. So you can just go here and then paste it. The moment you complete and save it, you can see you would have probably seen in the bottom of the VS code, it is installing those packages. So now if you go and go back and then look at this, this error is now gone. So this has been resolved. So this is our WebDriver.io core package. Now this solves our first problem, but if you go in any of the folder, you may still see a couple of errors. So one thing is if you hover on this, 
it says accesses are only available when targeting ECMAScript 5 and higher which means by default any of the node project will have the default of as of I believe it's a ECMAScript 3 so we need to increase it so that we can utilize the latest version of the benefits of the latest ECMAScript version so the way you can do it we can just achieve that through two simple flags under the compiler option in the TS config you can add additional flags so one thing is the target if the moment you start typing target it's going to auto suggest it so I'm going to just delete it and then just type in yes and you will understand what are the keys it will accept it so you can see a number of keys so I'm going to go with the yes uh, Yes, 2019 this works best for me so I'm just going to select this and then paste it next value I'm going to also select my model system so remember in node.js world it can support two model system one is a common js which is a default another is ECMAScript ES model so I'm going to go with the common js in order to compile any of our project even for the TypeScript as well so this will work both for your TypeScript as well as the uh, uh, ECMAScript file which means any of the ES file any of the TS file as well as the JS file so that's the advantage of having model as common JS so with these two flags now we should be able to see that error is gone now we can see there is no error so which means that we were successfully compiled it so now next thing is just go and run it that's it so if you just um, go here so what we're going to run because the web driver you has created a couple of folder structure for us but if you are personally I would prefer you may go with a different structure slightly different not too much uh, variant so page object you can put it under the main directory and obviously you can also put your uh, step definition here so obviously it is just keeping only steps but in real-time project we may separate it into multiple files just to give the reusability and the modularity now even we are just going to run the file which is the file created by WDAO by default so this is the runner file so it's going to just open up the page and then just enter with two different user IDs now let's start running so how do we then run it now so let's clear this console so we are at step number five so the way we can run it just provide npx and provide the WDAO and then the config file so if you just go back go to the console now let's say that the npx wdio and then wdio config file the moment you type in it just auto completes because you are in a root directory root directory means this is a folder structure so it will find a file called here so now if you issue this it's going to run a default test so it's just running this file so basically just invoking a demo site it's going to just install with two different user and the test pass now so that's how you can achieve and start running your web driver io straight away so if you wanted to enhance this framework further and have a lot of real-time examples including how you can handle web, API, file system and different other things including in the way you can manage different environments and so on you may consider choosing my Udemy course on this link so I have provided the links obviously you may choose to go with this if you are if you wanted to enhance this further and I have provided a lot of real-time example as well as the best practices so that's it for now thanks for watching